Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks. Michael Zuber, one rental at a time, back with his tutor. Somebody's teaching me a new language around stocks and technical analysis, Mr. Dan Bird. How you doing, sir? Doing well. How are you? I'm doing well. So episode number three every week. Am I going to place a trade? Is, am I going to take my macroeconomics view, looking for opportunity? We're going to look at the chart together. We're going to decide. And if we do decide, we will lose your risk calculator to make sure I am protected to right size and all of that good stuff. So Dan, thank you very much for doing this. I want to bring up one stock and share my thesis and then look at the chart. You ready to go? Sure. So uh, there is a company called Robinhood that lots of people have uh, been following for a while. It has fallen precipitously, had a nice rebound Friday because they had some pretty atrocious earnings on Thursday. I've been doing this long enough. I believe at some point Robinhood becomes a takeover candidate. I believe we could be at that price. I think it was under $10 at some point on Friday. I think they have $3 billion in cash which means their takeout value is not that much more. So I wanted to look at Robinhood, see what it looks like on a chart that looks okay, risk profile. That might be a trade I put in uh, with the idea that um, maybe they get taken out. Okay. Interesting thesis. Yeah, you know, could be crazy idea, who knows. Um, let me share and I'll show you what the chart. Yeah. And this is using your account Mm -hmm. um, this is Schwab Street Smart Edge. Nice. Which I've set up for you. Thank you. And uh, this view here has a weekly view okay. on the left, a daily view in the middle, okay. and then a 30 minute view on the right hand side. And on the 30 minute, you can see what happened on Friday. Wow. So it, it got uh, to some point where. The institutions came back and bought it, or what was going on? Short covering, maybe? Uh, probably short covering more than anything. Okay. I'm not sure. I'm not convinced institutions are going to get into this one. Okay, fair enough. So, probably, but I, but I, so, but I will guarantee you, there's a lot of retail traders. There. Oh, guaranteed, absolutely, yeah. So it opened down here at ten, below ten, in fact, hmm. um, and went all the way back to twelve seventy three. That's a twenty percent move intraday. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So very nice recovery. Now with that, mostly. would you look at that and think washout? Because again, that screams. Yeah, I would. Okay. Yeah, looks like a washout came back here. The, the weekly chart looks pretty nice. That's a hammer. Okay. Now, hammers typically uh, indicate a, a reversal. Yeah. Although it, it, although it did not right here, this is also a hammer. Mm. So this is a, a red hammer, this is the green. So this did not reverse, kept mm. going down. Yeah. So, so I think earnings were Thursday. They might have been Wednesday. They were atrocious. They lost 1.8 million, I don't know what you call them, subs or traders or whatever they are. Um, the earnings, were, earnings were Thursday. Yeah. Um, Horrible. 50 cents a share. Horrible. And they reduced next year. So it's all bad news. And what I was thinking is, what I was thinking Friday was, is anybody who wanted to sell is now out. Anybody who was trading on margins now out. And I was like, hmm, interesting. So that's what I was thinking. Again, could be a totally crazy idea, but I thought I would well, take it could my be. ideas. Could be, but I mean, it's, it's a risky um, gambling idea. Yeah, okay, fair enough. But, but, but that's not to say you can't try that once in a while. Yeah, no, I totally get it. Right. Well, we've, why, got, why don't we, we've got risk management rules in place. Exactly. You know what? So. Why don't why don't we? Um, well, actually, you know what? I'll decide at the end of this episode. You had a couple more you wanted to talk about or share. So why don't we look at those first? And we'll. All right. Um, so the ones I I'm going to bring up are ones that did report last week. Okay. Microsoft. They had good earnings. Good earnings. And good forecasts, as I recall. And good forecasts. Right. Yes. Okay. So you can see they're, they're starting to come up. You can see right here, um, these indicators are starting to turn upwards. Mm -hmm. And because they had good earnings, here's the earnings here, it was on the 25th actually, mm -hmm. yeah, and almost $2.50. Okay. Good earnings and a good forecast. Yeah. So Microsoft might be an interesting one. Okay. McDonald's is the other one. Oh yeah, I saw them last week too. They also had good earnings and a good forecast. Okay. So McDonald's, you know, looks good on the weekly. Looks, looks, uh, it's still, you know, got a lot of work to do. 
mm -hmm. get back above these moving average lines. Okay. And then the 30 minute, of course, they took off on Friday. All right. But most of the market did. Okay. Now, I think the market is going to continue higher next week, mm -hmm. at least until Friday till we get the jobs numbers. Right. Okay. So, so this might be a good short term trade. All right. Um, so those are two interesting ones to look at. I think you had one also, PayPal. Yeah, PayPal. Here's PayPal. PayPal, you know, it, it doesn't look great. Now it's hitting its 200 day moving average down here. So that's that's the point where it should bounce. Mm -hmm. um, all of the indicators are starting to turn up. Okay. And the 30 minute looks okay. I mean, I like to get it above 165. Mm -hmm. So there's some resistance right there. So again, I don't, I'm not convinced on PayPal. Okay. I think it might be a short-term trade. Yeah. But if the market starts going down again, I think it might also go down. All right. Well, you know what? I want to do the oh, gambling. Yeah. Oh, you yeah, had one more? Sorry. Uh, I just want to look at Tesla real quick. Oh, sure. And you know, Tesla reported last week. There's their earnings right there. And they, they had great earnings, by the way. Yes. Except their, C, except their CEO says they're going to make robots instead of new cars. <laughs> well, they're doing a lot of other things, too. They're doing solar as well. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. So... You know, they could they could do all kinds of things. Sure, it's just another revenue stream for them. So I'm not convinced that's a bad thing if they do that. Mm. Um, but what this does tell me is the that's big institutions, the big institutions, and this is an institutional trade, unlike sure. Robin, unlike Robin Hood. Mm -hmm. The big institutions are not convinced. You know, they they are distributing. Yeah, I mean, Kathy Wood, one of the largest bulls of Tesla, has been selling quite a bit, actually. Yeah, here's uh, here's Tesla. This is on a more of a uh, four-month chart. Mm -hmm. but you can see how it's way down here. Now, it came back nicely on Friday as well. Mm -hmm. And it's accumulation distribution line, which indicates whether institutions are accumulating or distributing, mm -hmm. whether they're buying or selling. And you can see they've been pretty much selling off since the middle of January but they may be starting to nibble at it again. Very cool. Okay. So I, I will not Tes personally- Tesla's another, Tesla's another short-term one yeah. that you know, might, have, might have some play up until we start back down again. Yeah, I'm not a Musk fan. Not putting any, any of my money on that guy. Right. Yeah. So let's, let's uh, use the value calculator on hood. Let's, let's take my gambling idea and place a short-term trading and see, what it, see what's what. All right, so for those that haven't seen this, I'm, I put the symbol in up here. I can click on this button <clears throat> and it shows me a chart. Very ugly, bad looking chart. Mm -hmm. Nothing but down. Yeah. But huge volume. Look at that big green volume on Friday. Mm -hmm. Wash and out. There was, some, and there was some nice green volume back here too. Okay. Uh, so what we're looking for is the ATR. ATR is 130. Mm. ATR stands for average true range. It's the range that the stock trades in mm -hmm. within a single day. In this case, we're looking at daily. So it's the range that it trades in in a day from high to low. Mm -hmm. All right. So $1.30 is the ATR. So we'll put that in right here. $1.30. We have, how much do we have in your account now? 47000 Sure. 47 sounds about right. 40, yeah. Yeah, about 47. 47 sounds right. So for this account, 47000 and let's let's make it 1250. Let's ask it to come down a little bit before we buy. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna buy it at 1250 and we'll put a 7% right mm -hmm. here. Yep. Which is 1163 for the stop. Okay. Or we could use two times the average true range. Right. So if, okay. it, if it moves in a dollar thirty in a day, typically. So, so two sixty would be the if we make it double that, it gives it plenty of room to move. Yeah, let's do so that. that. This actually calculates it for you right here, nine ninety. Okay. We'll use nine ninety. See that? So let's use nine ninety. Yep. Just for fun. Mm -hmm. Nine ninety is also the low of where it opened. There you go. On Friday, right? So it's very unlikely it's gonna go back there. Cool. I like it. And we're so now we can buy twice. Yep. So we can buy 180 shares. Mm 
controlling the risk. I like it. These are all things I never did before. This is awesome. Now, what you can see here is based on the stop. So in this mm -hmm. case, the 7% puts the stop at 1163. Mm -hmm. And if we use two times the average true range, it puts it at 990. Yeah, much this bigger range. 7%, but this is 20%. Yep. I'm okay with because that. Of, because of that, in order to maintain our risk mm -hmm. between these two, mm -hmm. then in this case, we could have bought 270 shares. Exactly. In this case, we should only buy 180. I love this risk calculator. This is so what I didn't have. I could still do my crazy gambling ideas, but this risk calculator doesn't, it lets me cut my finger with a paper versus cut my foot off. I love this. Right. And, and this is what I meant before. Yeah, that the, the stop price allows us to get out with, with a very small loss. Mm -hmm. But more importantly, it's a very small amount of your portfolio. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you're, you're going to live to trade another day if you're wrong. Yeah, I like it. So in this case, we are going to make this. Um, We're only going to do two entries. Right. We're going to make this three. zero. Mm -hmm. All right, so 1275, yeah, that's, should, it should uh, that, that's uh, I'm sorry, that's our, that's our price to, to get, to add more. Yeah, it should be the 90 shares, but yeah. Yeah, 90, right. 90. Well, you know what, so this is what I'm gonna put in folks, we're running out of time. Uh, so we're, I'm gonna place yeah, this Now we can look and see how, see how it works. Yeah, we'll see how it works. So, so again, we're gonna place the first trade to buy at what, 11? 90. 90, no. 90 shares. At what price? Sorry. At 12.50. Okay, we're going to put our first bid in at 12.50. If it goes up and runs, we put the second buy at 12.75. I saw. Right. So we can buy, we can buy Robin Hood right here. Yep. You know what, Dan? I need to let I, we need to shut this down. I have a call in two minutes. Just All to right. let people I'll, know. I'll go ahead and, I'll go ahead and put the trade in and then we can look at it and see what happens next week. Very cool, Dan. I appreciate you. Thanks, buddy. You bet. Take care.